top five TV companies inside headquarters. Samsung, Sony, TCL, Vizio, LG. The global TV industry is more cutthroat than you'd imagine. Though TV manufacturers rarely get the attention we devote to cars and phones, their job is just as important. Doesn't it make you wonder what goes on behind the scenes at the top of the $44.3 billion industry? Wonder no more. Welcome to our channel and join us as we peek behind the curtains. Which company demolished its HQ and has us all waiting for the big reveal? Chose the first roof it found? Has free healthcare in the largest daycare center? Is a shrine to nature and technology? The Tech Garden of Eden, if you would. HQ has an unfortunate and infamous namesake. Before we get started, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Thank you. Number 5. TCL Shrine to Technology and Nature TCL is the new kid on the block who's disrupted the market. They've overtaken LG, TCL, and Hisense by a slim margin to claim 12.6% of global TV sales by appealing to low-budget consumers. The company is also making headway in sales of other electronic goods. Genius TCL staff work round the clock in their magnificent global headquarters in Shenzhen, South China. The opulent building is an architectural feat that blends nature and technology creatively. It blends effortlessly into the landscape and allows light to permeate through it. This unobtrusive building is like a semiconductor that plugs into the site and optimizes how people interact with nature's raw energy. It was designed to improve the human technological experience by blending integration and interaction in unprecedented ways. You never have into a building like this. Its central mass is raised, so you walk into a central park around which the crossflow of people is designed. The entry offers visitors engaging expressions of art and culture. The escalators are artfully hidden and take guests to a raised lobby tucked into a rooftop garden above the podium. If that isn't impressive enough, the headquarters perimeter is lined with interactive gardens to prove this building honors nature and technology as equal partners. Number 4. Vizio Focusing on the product Vizio is an American budget electronics company that is a relatively new entrant to the Global TV Bigwigs Club. The company made a splash in 2007 as the largest LCD seller in North America and is now scratching and clawing to get a share of the global pie. Originally called V-Inc, the company was created in 2002 to fight overpriced electronics that dominated the market. The Irvine corporate campus headquarters is rather unremarkable, but we can forgive them for that as long as they keep churning out excellent budget TVs. They'll be able to afford a flashy new HQ in no time. Number 3. Ginza Sony Park, yet to be unveiled. Sony has dominated the household electronics industry as far back as anyone can remember. It's no shock that their TVs are highly desired despite being on the higher end of the price scale. The Japanese multinational is headquartered in Tokyo, Japan. The building is the brainchild of Yoshinobu Oshihara and is located at the Tsukiyabahi Crossroads. Commuters who work here have a breeze because they can access directly from the Ginza subway station. The first six floors are dedicated to a unique series of elevated showrooms. The architect also left out an open square facing the intersection. It's referred to as the Sony Square. The headquarters underwent some minor exterior and interior renovations in 1992. They replaced the entrance doors, exterior tiles, and louvers and renovated Sony Square. They also did away with the cathode ray tube light display and put it in aluminum panels instead. In 2017, Sony demolished the building and set out to build a modern HQ at the same time. The company decided to turn the construction site into a park during the renovation process. The park was officially opened in 2018 and has become a culturally vibrant space, with art shows and food merchants included. We all look forward to Sony's futuristic headquarters unveiling in 2024. Number 2. LG Twin Towers Light Up the Night LG is a step behind Samsung. The company's headquarters has become an iconic part of the Seoul skyline since its unveiling in December 2005. At first glance, the LG Twin Towers look rather unimaginative until nighttime. The 140-meter high towers hold more than 31 stories of office space, including retail shops and restaurants. The towers are built with cutting-edge technology and materials, the most impressive intelligent LED lighting. These lights show off the tower's simple but practical design. 
The exterior glass facade has more than 7,000 feet of intelligent LED. These lights make the building come alive with fantastic light shows. Inside the building, LG geniuses are busy pushing the boundaries on TV display and design. Their flagship rollable TV is expected to hit the market any time this year. You heard that right. Forget about foldable screens, LG will soon make rollable screens a reality. I don't know about you, but we feel closer than ever to sci-fi level tech every day that passes. Do you agree? Number 1. Samsung Digital City Why would anyone ever leave? Samsung has dominated the global TV market for 17 years in a row. This is not an accident. The company's devoted a significant section of Samsung Digital City, its global headquarters, to creating the best TVs money can buy. It has gobbled up 48.6% of the $44.3 billion by ensuring it employs the brightest minds and gives them necessary resources. The name Digital City is not an exaggeration. We're talking about 390 acres of office space, housing over 35,000 employees. The Seoul headquarters are defined by four landmark office towers that soar 38 floors into the sky. 131 smaller facilities surround the towers. These facilities are for more specialized purposes. Some of these labs are designated for developing the stunning displays we enjoy on our Samsung screens. There's also an anechoic chamber where all sound and electromagnetic radiation is eliminated to create the perfect conditions for testing the audio performance of your TV. The Samsung Innovation Museum showcases the evolution of the electronics industry worldwide. The company ensures its employees are in peak working conditions. Health and child care services are accessible at Samsung Digital City. This campus has 10 basketball courts, 4 badminton courts, 3 soccer fields, and 2 baseball diamonds which help employees stay active. Additionally, there are resting areas for staff to chat, rest, relax, and even sleep. There are dedicated relaxation rooms for expecting mothers to take some time out. The daycare center at Samsung Digital City has more than 150 teachers who look after 900 children. What do you think of the headquarters of the top 5 TV companies in the world? Were they what you expected? Which ones impressed you and which let you down? Don't be shy, let us know in the comments below. While you're at it, how about liking this video and subscribing to our channel? How else will you avoid missing out on such excellent content?